Hello guys, and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial where we'll be creating this amazing filter for your images. I'm going to guide you step by step through the process, so let's dive right in. First things first, open your image in Photoshop and convert it into a smart object. This ensures flexibility in your editing process. Now before we start applying filters, take a moment to check the color settings. Ensure that the color down here is set to black and white as this will significantly impact the result of our filter. Based on the set colors, when you open the gallery filter, you will see that by using certain filters, the color of the image will take on the two initially chosen colors. Next, duplicate your image and select the first one. Head over to the filter menu and choose filter gallery. The first filter we'll use is the graphic pen. Set the stroke length to 12 and the light dark balance to 84. For stroke direction, opt for the right diagonal. To add a new filter, you need to click on this icon down here. Now let's introduce the grain filter. Here, set the intensity to 100. Contrast to 7 and choose the soft grain type. Our final filter is torn edges. Adjust the settings to an image balance of 25, smoothness at 15 and contrast at 1. Great, we've completed this part. Now select your image with the filter and change the blend mode to color burn. To enhance the effect, we need to add two adjustment layers. The first is vibrance. Desaturate the image completely by setting the vibrance to minus 100. The second adjustment layer is brightness and contrast. Use this adjustment layer to change the final effect according to your personal preferences. As a finishing touch, create a solid color. Black works well for this. Then head to the filter menu, select add noise. I recommend a noise level of 14%, Gaussian distribution, and check the monochromatic toggle. Enable this option to maintain a black and white tone on your image. Last step, change the blend mode of this layer to lighten. Since we previously converted the image into an advanced object, upon opening another file on the advanced object, you can upload your image. After saving the file with Command or Control plus S and returning to the original file, you will see the filter automatically applied. This filter works best on images with a light background, but you can still apply it to images with a light subject and a dark background. Personally, I prefer this effect on an image like this. This tutorial is complete. I'm exploring new ways to edit my videos and I would appreciate some feedback. If you're like, please leave a comment and let me know if this style of editing is preferable to a traditional tutorial. A big thank you for joining me on this creative journey. If you like this project, you can find it on my Gumroad page. The link is in the description below. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Photoshop effects. Thanks for watching.